Minecraft 1.17 just dropped today and I have a brand new villager crop farm for the Minecraft Caves and Cliffs update. Hello, my name is Crow and if you're excited as I am for Minecraft Caves and Cliffs release, hit that follow button for more farms, tutorials, Minecraft 1.18 updates and other content. I'm trying to reach 5k subs and I hope you can help me out. To start things off, we'll be going over the materials that you're going to be needing for today. And these are the materials that you're going to be needing for today. Let's go ahead and check them out. We're going to need one rail, one minecart with hopper, two regular hoppers, two chests, one source of water, one sticky piston, two observers, one dispenser, and one lever. And then we're going to be needing 14 pieces of glass, but they do not actually have to be glass. They could be dirt, stone, anything. I just like using glass because it does make it look a lot nicer in my opinion. And you can always see if there's anything wrong with the villagers or with the minecart with hopper underneath. But then you're also going to need a hoe, and then your choice of crop between carrots and potatoes. And I'm going to reference this right now because I know someone's going to ask this in the comment section below. Can you use wheat? Yes, you can use wheat, but the villager himself is going to convert that into bread. So if you want bread, cool, you can do that. And then you're going to need two villagers, two beds, and two composters. All right, let's get on with the tutorial. Awesome. Now that you got the materials needed for this farm, we can start the tutorial now. But right before we start, if you want to build an even bigger version of this, I also have a tutorial for that and you can check it out by clicking that link in the top right of the screen right now. All right, let's get on to the tutorial. Step one, you're going to need to find your location where you wish to build the farm. I highly recommend you build this at least 100 blocks away from any other village related farms and such. So that means any other villager crop farms, a trading station, or even an iron golem farm. You need to build this away from that so they do not interfere with each other. So for step two, we're gonna go ahead and decide where the middle of our farm is gonna be, and we're gonna go down by three blocks. So I'm just gonna pick this random spot right here since this is just a tutorial. We're gonna go ahead and go down one, two, three, and then we're gonna go ahead and place down a chest with a hopper on top going into that chest, and then we're gonna be placing down a rail, and then we're gonna waterlog that rail, and then place down a minecart with hopper. And as you can tell, it's going to be flush with the floor. And then we're going to be going on to step three when we're going to be putting in our villagers and encasing them. So over here, one block to the left and one block up and one block down. We're going to be putting down two composters and then a block here and then more another set of blocks on top. And we're going to go ahead and place on this temporary block and then another one on top of that minecart with hopper. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side, just like this. There's not going to be anything here at the moment, but we're going to quickly place down another one right there and then break. It. Then you should have something that looks like this at the moment. And then we're going to go ahead and bring in our bed. So we're going to place one right here and another one right here. Then I'm quickly going to break this block right here and I'm going to till the land and place down a potato because that's what I choose to farm. And if you're doing this in survival mode, I highly suggest you bring in your villagers in a rail or a water stream and then just drop them down in here. So I'm just going to quickly place them since I'm in creative mode. I'm going to place this guy right there. And then I'm going to place this other guy right here. And then eventually they are going to link. And it is very important that both of the composters are on this side to make this work. Then you can go ahead and place down a block on the side to block them in just like that. And as you can see, now they both have access to each other. So this guy can go ahead and throw all the potatoes to him. But since he's going to be throwing them to him, it's actually going to be sucked up by the minecart with hopper first. And then now you can go ahead and place down another block right here. And right here. And once again, these blocks do not have to be glass. I just like using glass because it's very nice to see these guys. And now we're going to be working on the dispenser and redstone stuff. So you want to go ahead and go to where this guy is. And I'm going to quickly break these two blocks right here just so we can place down this dispenser. Make sure it's facing towards him and then we can place this back. Now you can just hook this up with a hopper and a chest and now you can just place all the bone meal that you want. Now to turn it on we're going to be doing it two ways. You can have the redstone all up over here in the surface or you can hide it under the ground. And I'm going to show you guys both ways. For the first method we're going to go ahead and face the dispenser and place down two observers. I'm going to break this observer and face this observer and then place down another observer. And as you can tell both of these arrows are facing in opposite directions and we're hearing the clicking noise. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a sticky piston underneath. I'm going to break it, place it right there, cover this back up, and then place down our lever right there to turn it off. That is one method. The second method that you can do this, you can go ahead and break these two and that one right there and then go down another layer. I'm going to go ahead and place down an observer just like that. And we're going to go down a little bit so we can get the angle and we're going to break this one. And once again, just like up top, we have to face the observer to place the observer. And once again, you can hear the clicking noise. So then now you can cover this up 
And then on this block over here, two blocks away from that bottom observer, you can go ahead and place down a sticky piston, cover this back up with grass, place down your lever, activate it to extend, and then to retract, and the noise is gone. And there you have it, folks. Now, this is the really most important part of this farm. If you do not do this, this is not going to work. After doing all of this, you're going to go ahead and give the villager that's going to be farming the crops some of that same old crop. So I'm quickly going to load this up with a little bit of bone meal and then we're going to go ahead and go up top real quick. We're going to break the glass and place on temporary block right there so he doesn't jump up and escape. And we're actually going to give him the crops. I'm just going to give him 64. This is going to go into his own inventory and cover that back up, break that. And then now that we turn on the lever, you're going to see that he is going to start farming them after he is done looking away from me. As you can see, he is breaking the crops and then after he fills up, he's actually going to share those crops to his little friend. We're going to go ahead and break this block that I placed earlier. Just look at him go. He's already farming everything. And using our brand new handy dandy spyglass, you can actually zoom in and watch this guy in action. Look at him go. He's just farming everything for us. And look at that. He is sharing the crops to this other guy. Look at him go. And then after that, you can go ahead. I'm going to turn this off because it's going to get really annoying. But once you turn it off, you can see he's going to start sharing them. But you can go ahead and just dig down a little bit, make yourself a staircase or something and break through and bam, there are the potatoes. Pretty great. And that is it for the farm. But before you leave, I have a couple of things to say. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smashing that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Doing those two things can really help my channel. Also, leave me a comment on what you'd like to see next. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Enjoy that spicy new update that Mojang gave us. And it's been your boy. Peace.